everybody. Good to see you. Let's talk about the in conjunction between the moon and Mars in synastry today. So we have very different styles going on when we have an in conjunction. There really isn't anything in common when we have this in synastry. There's nothing familiar about our needs or how we go about getting them met, the style of uh, our behavior. So with this in conjunction, we really are expecting very different uh, reactions, responses, ways of meeting each other's needs than is natural to the two people. So when we say, uh, you know, have an expectation of being treated one way, we may get something that's totally missing the mark. So there isn't a lot of common ground when it comes to the emotional needs of the moon person and the knee-jerk reactions of the Mars person. So the moon person doesn't commonly feel safe. They, they don't feel like, you know, when I have a need or express a feeling that the Mars person is going to be able to understand it or, or defend it or... Um, you know, get what it is that I'm, I'm needing or feeling. There's an alienation that the moon person really feels like a, a, a broad distance, a gap between what it is that I'm emoting and then how the Mars person is responding to that. So it, it creates quite a hedge uh, between the moon person and the Mars person, the moon person isn't likely to continue to be as honest or as open or as, uh, as natural with their feelings, uh, with their, their expression. They'll mute themselves because we, we really don't feel like the other person is treating our feelings with uh, enough tenderness or respect so we tend to hold back, and it can really create some intimacy issues uh, in a relationship. So it's hard for the moon person to be vulnerable uh, when we have this in conjunction. And the Mars person is going to have to go way out of their comfort zone when it comes to understanding the moon person's needs and reacting to those in a way that makes sense to the moon person. We can just commonly see the moon person as wrong or as overwrought or is behaving in a way that we feel like we need to have some kind of negative response to rather than something encouraging or positive. So we're coming at life from very different angles with this. And we both are going to have to learn about how the other person really is and how they're different from us and have a lot of understanding for those differences and then both people are going to have to come to some kind of middle ground. Uh, the moon person is going to have to allow for some of the herky-jerkiness of the Mars person and the Mars person is going to have to allow for the, you know, the, the, the different ways that the moon person um, you know, sees the world or, or feels in the world or we have to allow the moon person to be a mini because we're, we're just really having a, a difference here but when it comes to the armor of the Mars person and the open heart, the most vulnerable part of the moon person. So this is quite a distance to bridge in a relationship and it, it really does take a lot of compassion on the moon, the, sorry, the Mars person's part to really be able to make some headway here. So, hope this was helpful. If it was, you can find more information about Synastry, my full course on my website. It is uh, lengthy and uh, we get way more into detail about all of these subjects. So check me out over there if you're interested in more information. I uh, will be back super soon with more super cool videos.